This time of year, college programs across the country taking the field for spring games, and it's no different here at Liberty University. The Flames' annual spring game tomorrow, 2 o'clock. It is free and open to the public. And joining us now to talk about that, none other than the head coach himself, Turner Gill. It's spring, no jacket, <laughs> kick back, relax. Thanks so much for making time for us. Well, we do appreciate it. It's great to see it. you guys here again. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the spring game. How much do you as coaches get out of it? Or is it more of a thing for fans, kind of get the fan base excited than it is for you? You see them in practice every single day in the spring. Well, it's both. Uh, ours is another practice for us and get an opportunity to evaluate our guys and see what they can do. And then also see how they respond when we've got a crowd there. Uh, yeah. Again, we're looking forward to leadership, how they respond. We're looking for depth at a lot of positions. And, and we'll see what happens. The scoring system, pretty complex. Folks can see that on the website. The offense gets different points for explosive plays. The defense gets points for interceptions and things like that. But what will the format be in terms of competition? Will we see first-team offense versus first-team defense? Yeah, we'll have that. First-team offense against first-team defense. You can say second-team offense against second-team defense. It might be a little mixture. In certain positions, they'll uh, intermingle different guys in that aspect of it. Uh, this is probably going to be the first year that I've been here that we're going to probably go ahead and do some tackling. Last year, I know okay. I didn't do any tackling. We're going to go uh, try to get 50 to 60 plays live. Quarterbacks won't be live, but everybody else will tackle, cut, block, and, and do all those things. We want to see how our guys perform uh, when the, the bullets are flying, so to speak, if you want to say, in the game. And so we'll, we'll do it all that way and get a good evaluation. One question, who chose the teams? Chose the teams. We're just still offense and defense. Okay. So we're not having uh, a true team, whether you got the red team, the white team, okay. the blue okay. team, and all that. It's just strictly offense versus defense and, and see who's going to be able to make the most plays. I know a guy a lot of folks are excited to see back on the field is Des Rice. Mm -hmm. How has he looked this spring? And is there one or two other guys that have jumped out to you during these last few weeks? Well, I'm, I'm very pleased with Des Rice. Uh, he's been out there. He's performed very, very well, done a great job for us. So I expect him to be 100% and ready to go. Uh, probably two or three names of guys that probably have shown up fairly well here in the spring. Gerald Holt, the defensive tackle, has okay. done a great job. Wesley Scott, our cornerback, oh, yeah. who's played quite a yeah. bit, but he's been more of a nickel guy. We moved him to corner, uh, doing quite well there. Max Summers has done a fantastic job. Obviously, um, our quarterbacks have all yeah. done fairly well as far as those goals. So I think the main thing is we want to try to find our tight ends on offense, and we want to have our defense master our, we call it quarters coverage. I guess one thing you talked about the quarterbacks, we saw what Stefan Masha did last year. Right. Are you still trying to find unique ways to keep him involved? I know you, you mixed him in at some different positions right. even earlier last year. How, how much of a challenge is that? And have you used kind of the spring to kind of try to find other ways to use him? Well, we're always going to experiment on some plays, offensive plays, defensive plays, special teams plays, yeah. and see what we can do and what we cannot do yeah. <laughs> just as well. So we'll have a few things in there for next year as far as implementing him there at quarterback, who, who knows whatever position. Speaking of quarterbacks, one of the keys to their success is the offensive line. You lost a few guys at that position. Who has stepped up in the spring? at that position? Well, I think uh, uh, another key position besides our tight end I mentioned earlier is probably the center position there, trying to find out who's going to be our starter there. We got Lucas Holder. We have a transfer by the name of Richard Queen, came from the University of Massachusetts. Yeah. Uh, those guys are ballet. Both are sophomores, so they got three years left in it. And I think it's just going to be a great battle. It's good to find that uh, two or three guys. So very good as far as Mike Henderman. There's another guy who's coming in and going to play for us. So again, Offensive line be good to go. Uh, we have one of the best offensive line coaches it is in Dennis Wagner. You guys had great success last year, made the playoffs, won a game in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed, I don't know, a change in a mindset or approach? Now that you, the team has tasted that, that success, mm -hmm. have you noticed a change at all here in the spring that now that they've kind of seen it themselves and experienced it themselves? Well, I think belief, confidence, I think in their teammates, and I think more in our coaching staff. They understand our schemes very, very well. The players are now coaching the players, so okay. to speak. Yeah. And we're going a little bit more detailed with them. And so that's a good thing. And so, again, we're, we know we're going to be in the hunt for another opportunity to be uh, in the playoffs and hopefully win it all. Spring practice winding down. Coach, good luck to you. And I'm sure the fans will be treated to an exciting spring game on Saturday. Well, thank you. And I hope the fans come on out and enjoy it. Thank you, Coach.